Okay, so John Deere 111 snowblower. There's absolutely no videos on how to hook one up, and it drove me crazy. So, um, just remember to thank me by uh, recording a video of something else you don't uh, see the answers to. Anyways, so there's this bracket here. That's what that does. Uh, this and a little Home Depot spring for four dollars. I bolt for like a buck and a washer. That helps tension the thing up so you can pull it up. Um, belts get rounded with this. This mule pulley needs to be in here. And so PTO um, V groove is in on the PTO here. Then it kind of twists over. And then it's the back of the belt on this one. And then uh, back of the belt, back of the belt, all the way to, uh, I'll show it to you from the other side. But the other side, V groove stays, goes across. And then, so these belts, V groove up, V groove down here, V groove up and down. And this is off the starter side view. Oh yeah, and there's also a spring. I gotta show you guys the spring puller, the mule tensioner. I don't know if it goes in the right spot, but there's a hole back here, right next to the trans. And uh, I made a little hook, but uh, I'll show that to you in a few. Then you got the reinforcements here, you see these? Those little reinforcements both sides. I'll try to stick you in there. Yeah, you can't see shit, but that's, there's a belt tensioner in there. And then you can see that uh, off the bottom here, it goes through that little hole and it's got a little hook. But what I wanted to show you also is this spring and belt tension that no one knows about. You see this? It goes through there. Oh, and this, if you take the mud guard, uh, the mud cover for a if you got a bicycle, I'll hold down and I'll show you. So, some bikes don't have a piece of sheet metal stance. Sometimes, some bikes actually have a piece of metal to hold uh, the little mud cover that goes around the rim. And what I did was I took that piece of metal and I bent a little hook that grabbed the back of that mule pulley and then created another hook so I could put another Home Depot spring on. And that's what that is. And it tensions this pulley. You can see the part that I made, it's right here. All that is is a bent little mud cover. And that seems like the proper wire. You don't have to use that. You could find a piece of wire that you can bend and support the, the tension of that spring when you're done. Anyways, 111. John Deere 38 inch snowblower. I think these are, are model number 338. There's a 37. They're all the same. The mule pulley is what drives people crazy. And this is what you need to complete it. Oh, yeah. And if someone's got a video of what the extension bar looks like, that would be great. Because right now, what I took is I took the World War II K, uh, glider release uh, 516th milled out the end slot not that I needed to because this is a cable so it'll adjust for flop and I uh, use that to lift but uh, there's actually supposed to be some kind of mechanical advantage provided by an extension of some sort but I'm not sure if it attaches to this lower eyelet or if it attaches over there I would suspect that in either case you would have the mechanical advantages as a lever Whatever the case, I'd like uh, like picture with scale, so you can post that by.